I don't know about you, but for me, one of the really frustrating things about uh, working remotely is that uh, when I'm presenting my work, I'm always switching between tools like Figma, Slack, Zoom, Slides, and they often get a little bit lost. It kind of feels like online meeting tools don't give us much flexibility and don't feel quite right yet. There is something missing. As designers, we want an easy way to collaborate, exchange ideas and get everyone excited about the work rather than getting distracted by the tool. That's why today I'm very excited to show you around. I mean, not what's around this room. <laughs> Around is actually an online meeting tool that simply floats on your desktop, making it perfect for things like design sessions, critiques, brainstorms, or wherever working together is the focus. Around is not just a meeting tool, it's actually more of a collaboration tool. The user interface is actually very different from any other meeting tools. It's very minimal, doesn't take much space on the screen, and it's very easy to interact with it without going back and forth between in Windows. Recently, I've been using it for my side projects and it's been really, really fun to use it other than Zoom or Meet, but hopefully in the future I will be able to use it at work as well. But now I want to show you some of my favorite features and why they make this tool so unique and special. So let's take a look together. This window here is the first thing you see when you open up the app. You can either start a new meeting, create a link or join a meeting right away while here you have uh, all your rooms uh, which are basically chat uh, virtual chat rooms uh, you can have as many as them as you want to and you can create uh, a new room uh, by pressing this button or you can also create a new voice channel as well now let's create um, a new room so here you have as many ways to customize your room as you want to you can name it uh, create a custom url and you have some other settings here what i think is really powerful is that uh, after the meeting is over i can still join uh, the same room and for me this is really important because at work i have recurring meetings and stand-ups and this feature facilitate uh, this because i can jump on a call right away as you can see the interface is very minimal and now I'm gonna join this meeting so that I can show you how the meeting room looks like we are in the meeting room now when I say we I mean uh, I am just alone in this uh, meeting room and now I want to show you how the interface uh, works so here you can make uh, the tab as bigger or smaller as you want to depending on uh, your needs now let's start off from the top left uh, corner here this is pretty obvious uh, you can uh, leave the meeting while here this is what uh, makes uh, around uh, special unique and different from any other meeting tools you have five different ways to customize uh, your viewport depending on whether what what you're doing um, i'm gonna go through this uh, in more details uh, a little bit later in this video you have the floating mode um, the campfire mode um, the notes uh, image sharing um, and uh, the screen sharing as well and here you can just simply make uh, the tab uh, a bit smaller through this tab you can share the meeting room uh, link with uh, whoever you want here you have even more options uh, with some uh, shortcuts as well while here i can mute and unmute myself um, remove my my video here i have a simple chat and i'm gonna tell you a little bit more uh, later and here easy i can raise my hand now we are in floating mode which is the one that i probably use the most because it's usually me and maybe another person in the meeting room now let's take a look at the campfire mode cool so i know it looks a bit kind of sad now because it's just me but uh, if I was uh, in an actual uh, meeting uh, I'd be able to see everyone on the same level I think this feature is very useful when you want to focus on the conversation and it really feels like uh, you're in the same room because you're all uh, spread out uh, evenly in a kind of circular table I guess and this is the feature that most uh, represents uh, the traditional video conference but now I want to show you the notes mode 
in this mode uh, you can write down uh, all the notes uh, and at the end of the meetings uh, they will be sent uh, automatically to all participants and this is great because uh, you can keep all the notes uh, in one place uh, while making them accessible to anyone I usually scribble on my notepad or in my note app but this feature makes it easy to stay focused on the meeting and take notes uh, simultaneously this one here is the image sharing mode as it says in the name it allows you to share images quickly you can send uh, images files and assets without having to use another tool or remind yourself to send the files after the meeting is over this is actually what usually happens to me i will write down uh, a note uh, to remind myself to send the files and forget about it uh, right away. So I'm very grateful for this feature. Something to be aware of uh, is that uh, the files uh, do disappear after the meeting is over. So the other people in the meeting room will have to download them during the session. And through the last tab, uh, you can simply share uh, your screen uh, quick and easy. Maybe this is one of the features you're gonna find yourself uh, using more, uh, especially, you know, if you are in a design critique session and you wanna share uh, your screen. But now let's take a look at something else. I wanna show you how the chat feature works. This is more than a normal chat. It's actually really, really fun to use. You can either uh, send an emoji and it will appear on uh, your screen or uh, you can send a GIF as well like this one here and if you don't want to see the gif you can always uh, remove it by clicking on the button but you can also add a normal message and it will appear at the bottom of the screen and you can add as many things as you want to like i can add the icon and the text uh, will remain here but i can remove it uh, as well so as you can see there are many ways uh, to customize and engage uh, without having to send uh, just a normal boring message but now i want to talk about other features that i really like about around and i haven't seen in other meeting tools the first one is that if i move my face slightly the camera will always follow my movement which is really awesome and i also really like that i can easily hide away my background because sometimes it can be a little bit messy here the second one is the ability to apply filters some people like it some people hate it but uh, overall uh, it's a nice option but you might want to try one day another feature i really like uh, is that i can use it on my phone this is something new that i haven't tried it yet uh, but uh, i think it's really useful to have it if you find yourself switching between devices quite often so this is an overview of around if you're curious to see whether it could fit your workflow you can download it for free as by the time i'm recording this video they're still in beta let me know in the comments if you use a different meeting tool what you like and don't like about it i love to hear your thoughts on it as well so thank you very much for watching this video as always if you enjoyed it please leave a like and subscribe to the channel until the next one ciao